Okay, all right. Totally standard predicament. On our way to, you know, dinner party, barbecue, somebody's house, can't show up empty handed. Do I see a florist? I don't see a florist. We're screwed. It's got to be a bottle of wine. We come in, we scope, we see a lot of uh, big corporate supermarket labels. Fetzer, Behringer, Mondavi, you know, I, I just would rather drink, I just would rather drink beer. Pinot's out. Pinot is, you can blow it with Pinot Noir pretty easily. I'm, I'm also not going to be looking at Merlot because a lame Merlot is, a, is really flabby. I ain't going near Sauvignon Blanc either unless it's a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. There's something sort of dishonest on this label, frankly. This is established in 1876 in the Napa Valley. This is not actually a Napa wine, but they were trying to find a way to make it sound like it's a Napa wine. This is probably mostly from the Central Valley somewhere. You know, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not that psyched on on you know on a little bit of dishonesty right right there on the bottle. That's got a fork on it. I just noticed that. See, that was really speaking to me. And now that I've noticed the fork, it's feeling a little cloying. I still want to buy it. This might be a good wine. Again, I'm not knocking it. But Sebastiani, you know, they're one of the monsters, right? They're like the you know supermarket box wine, white vince. They're monsters. Mega corporate winery trying to play a little game there, trying to create you know Pepperwood Grove. You know what? Front window, a lot of sun coming through that window. You know, I might not want to be that. I might not be that stoked about that's up on the top of the shelf. Look at this. Look at this. Pepe Merlot is styled specifically to be food friendly and add to any dining experience. Who is this aimed at? Happy mid-century modern hipster, you know. And uh, Pepe. Is that fucking taurine in it? We got fat cats. I mean, dancing bull. Everybody in the world is trying to put animals on their wine because of what these guys did. They put a, you know, fuck, they put a kangaroo on there. You know, White Vincent Zinfandel blows. Hell with it. Let's just get a Chardonnay, Cabernet, call it a day, forget about it. Totally safe bet. Totally safe. Not going to ruin my life. Not going to ruin my dinner party. You know, I'm not going to look like an idiot. People bring a bottle of Ravenswood to my house. I know they spend about eight bucks, you know, so I know that's what they think of me. It's eight bucks well spent, you know, so maybe that's what they think of me as eight bucks well spent. Don't get too wound up about it. It's not going to be a great bottle, but hey, you know, at least it's not going to suck.